Hey guys, Sam here, long time no see. I'm just doing like a chatty get ready with me today. I've been so busy. I've been working too much and I just don't have time all the time. I don't know. I sound like I'm always making excuses, but I literally have been working like 70 hours a week. So like I don't know, when I wake up and I like start to get ready, it's like this isn't a priority for me. But I really like doing it at the same time, so... Whatever. I just primed my face with the IT Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores. I just figured we have a sit down, chatty, like get ready with me today, catch up. Um, this is the Rimmel. I've been loving this. I've had it forever and I just never used it. Rimmel Lasting Finish, 25 hour. Um, it's in the shade 200 Soft Beige and I feel like this is like my exact color. It's crazy. But it doesn't have a bump. It's pump. It's like in a glass bottle. So I just kind of like tap it on my hand. And then I've been like into more of a luminous look so I've been putting in my um, liquid champagne pop from Becca just like a half a pump and mixing it in on the back of my hand I really want like a glass palette to like mix my foundations on like I think Tati has one or she has a fancy one and then I just know like some people just like use the back of um, Bath and Body Works candle or something like that, you know? So, I don't know. I always get it on my hand, and then, like, this hand for the rest of the day is, like, orange. Or, like, the color of my foundation. So, oh, Toodles is running around back there. She's set in my spot on the bed. I don't know who she thinks she is. Oh. I'm starving. It's 11 a.m. I'm taking kind of like my lunch break to do this. And I have like ravioli downstairs in the fridge that I can make. But like I kind of want Panera. So the struggle is real right now. Like I don't even have to blend this down my neck that well. Like it matches me so well. I've never had a foundation matching this well. And it's full coverage. Like, I don't have to go in with a concealer again to touch up. But anyway, what kind of videos do you guys want to see from me? Because, like, I'm just, like, at this point where it's, like, I do get ready with me's and, like, I just don't know what else to do. I guess I saw Manny did a video doing his makeup with his left hand and I thought that would be really cool. But, like, I would, like, not be able to go out of the house, I don't think, if I did my makeup with my left hand. So, I would have to, like, wash my face after. And I just, like, right now I don't have the time. Um, I always have Sundays off. Like, Sundays are my only day off a week. So, I guess I could, like, try and do something then. Um, it's almost the end of the month, so I have to do my end of the month favorites. Um, I got really good feedback from my anti haul, so I figured I'd try and do that once a month. If you um, if you like that idea, let me know. And then, what else? Oh, I want I'm working on an empties video, so that should be coming out in the next week or two. And then, um else I don't know I feel like there's like so many like trending videos I feel like the new thing is like trying out new products on camera like like first like live like um like first impressions and like I don't know if I can afford I don't get stuff sent to me so like I don't know if I can afford to do that um, a couple months ago, I really wanted to do, like, an essence haul, like, do, like, hardcore, like, I could do maybe, like, a full face just using essence products, 
so that would take work. I I want to do a full face using one brand, but I need like I tr went through my collection, and even though I have so much makeup, like it's still not um enough to do a full face using one brand. Okay, brows. Um, I'm like out of all my brow pencils. I need to get more, but for now I'm just using this brow precise. This is the Goof Proof pencil from Benefit. I'm not a fan of this. I just don't think I'm a fan of like the angled tip on this. Like I said, it gets dull. I like more of like a precise brow pencil. So. There's that. But I, yesterday I think it was, I filled in my brows just really lightly with this and it was probably like the best way to do it. So I'm just going to do that again. I have like a habit of being like too harsh with my makeup. Like I'm just here to go ham with my makeup. I feel like that's probably too dark. But like, we're just gonna make it work. I have I mentioned how much I hate doing my brows. I feel like I say it in every video. I just hate it. Like it's not my thing. Um, and then I'm just gonna use my L'Oreal um brow gel. And then this Maybelline Brow Precise. I'm really glad they have something like this like easily at the drugstore. I really like something like this to just clean up my brows. I know it's like cheating, but I just like it. Okay. And then I'm going to prime my eyes with my NYX HD um, eye primer. Just throw that on here. I love that this has like a wand. Like I don't like squeezy tubes. I think the Smashbox one is like a squeezy tube and I don't want to like squeeze it out on my finger even though I use my finger to blend it out anyway. So I'm just going to do that and then I set it with a little bit of powder. And then I just want to be pretty basic. I say that now. Do you ever just like do your eye makeup you're like I'm just going to do like super basic makeup. But then you're like pulling out lashes. I don't know if I want to do lashes. I know I want to use this Ideal Duo from Dose of Colors. I don't know if I've ever used these on my channel. I have like six of them and I love them. This is the shade um, Shell and it's like this really good like nudie champagne shade. And I have fallen in love again with my like single shadows. This is like my littler palette right now. For I have a bunch of the Makeup Forever tins now. But this is just like my everyday palette now and I've just like have fallen in love. So I just kind of want to like mess with these shades and like put this on the lid and I might put lashes on even though I just said I'm not going to be like high maintenance today. It's just in my blood. So I'm going to go in with a little bit of um, Peach Smoothie from Makeup Geek. It's like my favorite shade to put on my crease right now. Okay, and then, I don't know, I want to like, I really like this shade, it's a MAC shade, so I don't know what the name of it is, it's just like a warm, like, light brown, I put a magnet over the name because I'm stupid, I mentioned this before, like, I just don't think anything through, but I'm just gonna put that, like, in the crease as well, oh fuck, I fucked up, and you put your brush in the wrong shade. Do you guys see that Mac is coming to Alta like in like May, like late May, June ish? I don't know if it'll be in all stores right away, but I think it's going to be in stores and then it will be available online like Mac Cosmetics. Isn't that crazy? I'm honestly like getting a kick out of it. Um, on the outer corner, I want to use like another warm brown another warm brown um 
I think I'm just going to go in with Coco Bear. Oh, no. This is Sienna from ABH. Anastasia Beverly Hills. I really like this shade. Focus that on the outer corner. And then I think with like a bigger pencil brush, I have this. I have one somewhere. Or like this. This Zoeva brush. I'm going to use this warm brown. This is fudge from Anastasia and I'm just going to put that a little bit on the outer corner here so and then I'm going to blend that out even more because it needs it I'm actually going to use the same brush I went in with Sienna and kind of like go over it. Um, so the whole thing with these ideal duos is the top part's a cream and the bottom is a pigment. So I usually just go with my finger with the cream and dust that on there. It's very sticky. So when I go in with the pigment, I don't really like need a glue or anything, I just kind of wet my brush with some MAC Fix Plus and I go to town. And then this is just like an easy glam look. So then you screw the top and then the pigment's right on the top here. I can only show you so much. I can only do so much. And we're going to go in with this Morphe brush. Like I said, I'm going to spray my brush. And go in, go in, and go right over where I put that cream. It is so pretty. Oh my god. Do you see how pretty? Okay. So it's just like that simple, and then like you have this gorgeous, like metallic look on your eyes. I can't help it, like, I'm just obsessed with, like, the metal look on the eyes. Like, I want to take several steps to do that. Um, and then I'm just going to highlight my brow bone in my inner corner. My favorite shade for my brow bone is Vanilla Bean from Makeup Geek. I've used this a million times. I've obviously hit major pan on it. This is one of my first Makeup Geek shadows. It came in the starter kit. And that's just because I like a matte. Brow bone highlight, and then my favorite inner corner shade is Starry Eyed from Makeup Geek. And it's really, it's one of their foiled shadows, so it's $10. But worth every penny, if you ask me. I use the hell out of it. Okay. And then we want to deepen that, or like, oh shit, shit. Then we want to like define that lower lash line more. So I'm going to go in with this Morphe brush. This is the Morphe M432. And I'm going to go in with that fudge shade. And then I'm going in with like my pencil brush and using Sienna. I'm blending that out. And then actually I want to use fudge to deepen out my outer corner more because I feel like I blended over it too much. Alright, and then I'm just going to line my eyes with my L'Oreal liner. And then I really don't want to use liquid liner 
today, so I think I'm just going to go in with false lashes. I didn't want to, but I don't want to use liquid liner because I don't like using liquid liner over like glittery pigments like this. It just never looks good. If you can tell me a liquid liner that goes over pigments well, let me know, but I haven't found it, but I'm just going to prep my lashes with some of my Marc Jacobs mascara. I'm just gonna pop on some false lashes and I'll be right back. All right, so I have my lashes on. I did fill in and do a little bit of liner just because this lash didn't have much of a band. Um, I tried out the House of Lashes in Temptress today. I don't even think I've ever worn these and I've had them forever. So I like trimmed them down a little bit and I don't know, they're pretty. I think they look good on camera right now. So we have those on. Um, I'm going to contour. I've been into contouring again. My Marc Jacobs palette, which is like empty, but I am still going with it because this is $50. And your girl doesn't have $50 right now to buy another contour palette. Even though I have other contour palettes, I insist on using this one. I love contouring my nose. Like... My dream is somebody asking me if I had a nose job and me just being like, no, it's my contour. Like, that's the goal, ladies. That's the goal. Then we're going to bronze. I've been using my Too Faced bronzer a lot lately. This one, the Chocolate Soleil bronzer. There's my brush. I can never find anything. Like... Why, why am I like this? This bronzer still smells so good and I've had it for like two years. Hi, hi, I see you. That's pretty. And then I'm going to do my blush and highlight in the same compact. I don't know if I've ever used these. This is the Becca Champagne Splits. I have um, Prosecco Pop in here and um, Pample Mousse blush. So I'm going to use that blush and highlight. I'm going to use the blush very like lightly because this is light or very bright. I think that's very natural and pretty. And then I'm going to go in with Prosecco Pop and just pop that up here. And then once again, that's not like BAM enough for me. So we need some MAC Fix Plus. And there we go. There we go. Pretty. So pretty. Becca knows how to do a highlight. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. Okay. And then I just want to do my lips. I've been messing with like different lip combos this week. I think I'm just going to be pretty basic. This is the Jordana Sweet Cream Matte Liquid Lipstick in Buttercream Frosting. These are like $5 at Walgreens. And I think that ties in the look very well. I'm just going to spritz my face with some of this Milani Make It Last Setting Spray. And that is it, ladies. So thank you for sitting down with me. I'll try and get more videos up this week. But 
you know, I'm here for fun. And I am so grateful that there's like almost a hundred of you out there willing to watch me or listen to me at all. And I get like, I don't know, any views on my video at all. So it's very exciting. And I'm just grateful that I have you guys. So thank you. And I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. And I'll see you again soon. Okay. Bye.